This video is about fluid resistance and terminal speed. When an object travels through a fluid, so a liquid or a gas, it experiences a drag force. The process of how drag force works is very complex, so we won't go into a detailed analysis here. All of us experience drag forces every day. For instance, when you're traveling in a car, the car experiences air resistance. Air resistance causes a drag force to act on the car. When we swim or run into the ocean on the beach, the water exerts a drag force on us and makes it more difficult to move. The drag force that we experience is due to a phenomenon called fluid resistance. You have probably also experienced that the faster you try to move in water, the greater the fluid resistance becomes. This is because when an object is accelerating through a fluid and its speed increases, the drag force that acts on the object also increases. Note that the rate at which the drag force increases is not directly proportional to the increase in speed, and the exact rate at which the drag force increases depends on the specific situation. At some point, the drag force becomes equal to the force that is accelerating the object. At this moment, the forces that act on the object become balanced, so the net force becomes zero. As a result, the object stops accelerating and keeps traveling at constant speed. This final constant speed is called terminal speed. Let's see how Skydiver reaches terminal speed. At the start, the Skydiver jumps out of an airplane. Since at this moment her vertical speed is zero, there is no drag force yet, so only the gravitational force acts on the Skydiver. The free body diagram for this situation looks like this. As the Skydiver falls and starts accelerating downwards, the drag force increases. Since the gravitational force, in other words the weight, remains constant, the net force decreases, hence acceleration also decreases. Note that here the speed of the skydiver is still increasing, but the rate of this increase, in other words the acceleration, is decreasing. The free body diagram here looks like this. The closer the skydiver gets to the ground, the larger the drag force becomes. At a certain point, the drag force becomes equal to the weight. When this happens, the drag force and the weight are balanced, the net force is zero, the skydiver stops accelerating and reaches terminal speed. From this moment on, until the skydiver opens her parachute, the free body diagram for the situation looks like this. This completes our discussion of fluid resistance and terminal speed.